Okay, welcome. Okay, we welcome. are live with we David Adelson with here, David. who is the creator of so many programs that I can't even begin to name them. I don't know if he's going to name them all for us, but I want to give you a, a quick lowdown on how I heard about David. He was on another podcast of Tyson Bedigan, um, who I know and have known for five years or so and respect greatly. Um, and I heard this interview with David. I said, oh, my God, I've got to explore more and hear what's going on with what David's doing. And he's the developer of over 500 quantum energy enhancer programs, products including art, photography, bottled tinctures, CDs, DVDs, MP3s, video downloads. I'm not going to pronounce this right, am I? Viro energy cards, handheld harmony sphere devices, and distance clearing programs that help reestablish everyone's optimal personal energy signature. Spiritual Genius has released several free programs that restore harmony and peace while dissolving negativity and stress in specific areas. He's got half a dozen websites, and we'll get into that in a moment, including things called peaceandharmonydownload.com, deepermeditationsdownload.com, businesssuccessdownload.com, and winnersandchampionsdownload.com. David will be spending this year next developing and raising 350 individuals to cosmic status to fulfill their destinies as invincible stars of heaven living here on Earth. So, David, um, I've downloaded your thing. Um, your Harmony Sphere was the first thing that I downloaded. And that was actually incredibly helpful for me during some trauma I've recently had in my life. And a lot of the guests on the call know that I recently had some uh, brain traumatic brain injury and I can't do a lot of meditation and I can't do a lot of um, different things still really affect my brain but that your silent energy pulsing has worked great um, almost every other almost every other and I can't even think of the word right now <laughs> any other other type of harmonics and binaural beats things that people have recommended to help restructure my brain have been horribly uh, gone horribly bad for me so your programs have been quite helpful so thank you thank you you're very welcome and thank you for having me today it's very exciting for me to be on the call with you uh, i know the good work that you're doing and i'm very appreciative of the great intent for goodness in the world that you bring forward and offer to so many and so thank you for having me it's very kind and you've got a program going right now. You've just had some free webinars. You're teaching a whole bunch of fun things. I was on one of them yesterday. Do you want to talk a little bit about and share a little bit about this new series that you're working on, the free webinars? Yeah, right. well, thank you for asking. <laughs> we're, we're always thinking, you know, what more can we offer people? What more can we do? Um, hence 500 plus programs because um, hey some people can't use the silent thing and they want drops and somebody wants something they can carry in their wallet and somebody wants something they can look at so um, we're very big believers that effortless is the way to go that things should be simple and easy and uncomplicated and that what you want you can have and we have ways to help you get out of your own way and to help clear the environment around you, such as the Harmony Sphere or the Peace and Harmony Download.com or the Winners and Champions Download.com. These are programs that affect not only you and inside, but also the environment to diminish stress and create a more loving and harmonious sphere or circle or area around us where tension can be dissolved. So with the Peace and Harmony download, we've had people where, you know, they call us up, my wife was furious and screaming and I put it on my phone and didn't tell her and five minutes later, she's completely <laughs> mellowed out. Or somebody said they've run it on their, uh, that their boss hated them and the bickering in the office was driving them nuts and they put it on their computer at work and left it playing round the clock. They said IT would turn it off at night. They just turn it back on in the morning. And six weeks later, they called me up and 
he said, this was in England, and he said, I could never have imagined the difference at work. The bickering has gone. My boss loves me and comes and hangs out just to visit sometimes. Just the, And it's just some silent thing that goes in the background. And I am very blessed and grateful to be a part of that. I just feel like this is an offering from the divine or however you want to think of it, whatever your background is. And so we were thinking, you know, what can we do? We want to get these things to more people. I think you're aware that one of our goals right now is to get 10 million people downloading and playing the free Peace and Harmony download.com. Uh, the download, which is available as a YouTube video that can loop, yep. or if they want it as an MP3. And someone suggested that we should just make it they don't we don't even collect their email just we just want people downloading this so we're working on setting that up um technically not my field so i'm trying to get other people to arrange it yeah. but hopefully that'll be up in a couple of days and for those people who want to go to peace and harmony download.com and get it now we will get your email address, but we're very kind. You can unsubscribe, whatever. We're, we just want these being played because if we can get 10 million pockets of peace around the world, think of if you had you know, the largest stadium in the world and you got 10 million people with candles. Just the simplest match, just even that will completely affect the level of darkness or stress or tension on the world. And this is our gift. We want people to do this. So in my experience, um, getting to talk to people and interacting with them and trying the programs is a great way to encourage more people to. So we had the thought that we'll do a series of four. Now I'm answering your question. <laughs> we'll do a series of four two-hour sessions and we'll do and, and people can call up with questions and each one will have a theme so the one that you were on yesterday which we enjoyed seeing you on was um for wealth and prosperity and getting rid of the blocks that we have and um, as you'll attest we we not only did a couple clearings for everyone during the entire call but we gave a, a number of very powerful do at home techniques that are incredibly simple and easy and only take a few minutes and we gave them to address many different issues in in, in that may be affecting someone's wealth and prosperity from not being open to receiving it, to feeling unworthy, to not understanding what they should be doing um, in their life, to not allowing themselves to think big, all of these limiting patterns. And we try to address all of them. I don't know if we got them all, but um, the replay is on YouTube. What would usually be a short I'm sorry? Little, I was impressed that what would usually be a short little webinar was a two-hour marathon two of hour David marathon of walking people through people healing and moving on healing to eliminate on uh, so many eliminate limiting so beliefs around beliefs wealth and money around and self-worth and so many other so many other factors many that other uh, factors come into play uh, when we even talk, say the word money. Yeah, and we were, gee, we just went through, it was so interesting with the group, it was so chaotic, so much diverse energy when people got on about so many different things, and as we're going along, it just kind of started smoothing and getting in, so, but we tried to address anything that anybody on the call might be interested in, and the, um, I need to clear up the sound a little bit, but we've already uploaded it to YouTube and we're trying to work out. People can download the MP3 of it. So we'll be sending out an email probably Monday with that. So any of your listeners who want to take advantage of that, they're certainly, um, if they go to Peace and Harmony download and get on that email list, they'll get the information about this and as well. I highly encourage um, everyone to give David your email list David because you want to see what, it, what see all he's doing. It, it's an incredible story. depth and breadth depth of work across every across subject that anyone interested in spirituality and reality. energy and quantum, quantum life uh, is going to want to explore and play around with. So, um, so tell us, David, how did you, tell us, how did you get into this, uh, into this whole quantum field? Um, let me <laughs> give you one second. So we have three more events coming every Wednesday at four o'clock California time. 
So we did wealth. We're going, and I don't know the order of them, but we're going to be doing health, love, and life's purpose. So people with blocks about that, it's a Zoom call and get on the list and it's free and bring your questions, email your questions. And we're going to do the same mini marathon thing of anything that we can address, we will. And we do clearings during it as well as giving people techniques. So I wanted to, that's an answer to the previous one. I was born to do it. I mean, I just, that's it from the word go. No ifs, ands, or buts. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. This was, this was it. What experience told you this is it? This is what it is, and that you were first able to verbalize that. What's your first memory of knowing that? The simplest thing is that this, and this is in the nineteen early nineteen fifties, because I'm ancient. Um, <laughs> My grandmother went to see what we would now call as a fortune teller or a psychic or an intuitive or something. And this, I don't know what this woman built herself as. She, if she built herself at all, she was just a very nice woman who seemed to have some gifts at the time. And she'd have people over and they'd have tea and chat for a couple hours. And then during the couple hours in between baseball scores or knitting things, she dropped little bombshells about things. And she told my grandmother something about her daughter being pregnant and some wonderful things for the world kind of thing. And, and then uh, my older sister was born, who also is amazing, uh, as is my younger sister. And, and then my mother went to see the woman, didn't tell her that the relationship, the woman used almost the exact same words. And so um, nice Jewish kid growing up with a Jewish mother, um, no pressure there, but you're going to do wonderful things for the world, and you're three. <laughs> so, um, and I did have very profound experiences. If you go to my InvincibleStars.com website, which is the program that you talked about in the introduction, I tell a story that happened when I was five or six that was pretty significant. Um, other things happened around the same time when my grandfather died. I was having experiences. It wasn't until I was a teenager and talking to people that I became very keenly aware that the way that I saw the world and the way all of my friends saw the world wasn't the same. That they didn't see all of these other things that I saw. And... Um, and people would say, how do you know this? Where is and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> you know. So it just started coming up. And at 20, I became, uh, I started practicing TM, Marshi Mahashogi's Transcendental Meditation, became a TM teacher. I did that and became, a, I went to school, got some advanced degrees um, in writing, studied physics, studied quantum, all of that stuff and was on faculty for a while at their university. And then my son came down with cancer when he was 13. And during the 10 months that he was in and out of school, I was suddenly visited by all kinds of everybody, including Mother Mary and Lord Shiva and Lord Vishnu and Divine Mother and all of these things started happening, and I don't even want to tell you some of what it was, and that changed everything. And then I thought, I can't play small anymore. I have to start doing this. How so, long ago was that? How long ago was that? 20, no, uh, early 90s, early 90s, early to mid 90s. So yeah, 20, 25 years ago. And how so, is your son today? Pardon? And, and what happened with your son? How what happened he? with your son? Oh, um, he did great that time, but then seven years later, he came down with things uh, with it again. And during the second time, the woman I was married to at the time, all, she got all kinds of incredible healing gifts. And he left, and I have, and I saw him, and my sister saw him, like at the time that he left. My sister was in a different town was visited by him. I saw him the next morning on numerous occasions since then. He's come and watched parts of movies with me and he's doing fine. And I haven't, I haven't had a lot of connection with him in years because he's gone pretty far away. Um, it was, but it, it was 
his whole thing was that he, um, I was told by Divine Mother, who I connect people to, that he never had the karma to come to earth, but he just saw it could use some help. So he stopped in to do some things for a little while, collected a bunch of people's karma is the polite way to say it. Crap is the other way to say it. Picked up all he could, took it with him and left. And so that was 15, 20, 15 years or more ago. So, um, yeah. I so was that was interesting. You, I would imagine he would have been a very special being to have come into your life for as long as, as he did. Was he aware yeah, he... Was, he, uh, he uh, I'm had, sorry? Was he aware he at the aware time of, uh, that he was alive, that he had those skills and talents? Especially the last year of his life, all, he was open in all kinds of things and he was having all kinds of perceptions. Uh, definitely the last year, 18 months of his life was a very, um, was very interesting. And, um, and I had had some experiences way back when he was 13 because I was concerned about certain things in his life and I was given answers by different spiritual beings that I have a huge amount of respect for. And so everything seems to have played out very well, which doesn't discount the discomfort that happened when he passed. Sure. But yet in the overall scheme of things, it seems okay. And everybody did. I want to say reasonably well, but I can't say that there weren't some scars when he left for both myself and my his brother and uh, my ex-wife and some others it was definitely um there was definitely loss but in the overall cosmic scheme of things i think it was quite all right so that is a big trauma that is a big trauma yeah yeah and how did so, you what did you do to recover from that trauma even with all of oh, well, I, I, do we really? <laughs> I'm not really sure we want to go here. Let's talk about how we can save the world instead. Um, because people go through traumas, I, I'll tell you, I went through hell for about six months. Um, absolutely everything that was important to me came crashing down within six weeks of when he passed away. And I went. I went through a time where um, I, I just felt completely discombobulated. Yeah. And, and I actually kind of grumbled about it and said to Divine Mother, I feel really discombobulated. And she said, discombobulated is good for you. And I understand that if we believe the world is a certain way, and if we believe our relationship to the world is a certain way, we can be the binding shackles ourself to what's possible. And to get to where we could be, if we really want to soar, we kind of have to let go of the floor that we're on to get to the floor that we should be. Yeah, the floor above here. And you can't take anything with you. You kind of have to like let stuff go and not carry things with you. So I remember going to a store with a friend of mine that was a, an outlet, um, you know, where they had Ralph Lauren and all the big name places was an outlet mall in Massachusetts where I was. And I remember going with a friend of mine and we were about to go in one store and she said, do you like green plates or whatever it was? I don't remember what it was. And my response was, I don't know. I used to know. Let's go. <laughs> Let's I have no idea. Let's find out. And I felt completely discombobulated for about six weeks. The whole recovery time was seriously about six months, it was very intense of just massive shifting. And then all kinds of amazing things again opened up after that. And now you're functioning at a completely different way of functioning. And again, that can happen. And the reason I'm willing to share this is because we're all growing on a planet that's moving to a level of quality of life that, to be frank, 
most of us can't even conceive of what it's going to look like. And the belief that the best that we can imagine is as good as it is as going to be is actually a limiting factor. And we want to get we want to get people beyond that and breaking that and letting go of what we feel, who we are, letting go of our beliefs of how the world works so that we can create something different can be disruptive. It absolutely can be, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. And if we can allow that process to take place, you know, we can come out absolutely amazing. We can come out amazing. I think that's Should I give you my... Yeah, go ahead. I just wanted to give a quick shout out. We've got, got some people live on Facebook now. On Say hi now. to Ingrid hi and Jenny to and Marilyn calling in from WA. Calling in from hey, Marilyn. <laughs> Hi. So um, I don't know how it works if people have questions, but I'm certainly happy to answer uh, them. We're going to have them. I'm going to ask them to type them. in any questions you have for David. Have and there's a slight David. time, lot, time slight lag, time so time we'll see if that pops up on the Facebook Live, and um, Facebook I'll live. read them out. I'll read them out to you, so David. But you were just about what to say something very interesting. Yeah. What I want to do is give people a vision of what the possibility of this world is and, and different people describe what's happening on the world in a different level. And, and, and whatever, whatever we're coming into is going to be amazing and is going to be 50 times better than the best of us think it's going to be. It's so absolutely it's, going to be staggering. Fifth dimension that a lot of people dimension refer to it, or what do you call that or new what do you call that level? I don't, whatever people want to call it. What Some people call, call it heaven on earth, call it the golden age, yeah. call it ascension, uh, call it ice cream with cherries on top. It doesn't matter what we call it. It's not the name of it. Some people like the idea of heaven on earth or the golden age or whatever, it, it, what, what we call it is not as important as the quality of life that we will be able to experience. And we can already start to see signs of what that will be like if we look with clear eyes at what the current younger generation is bringing forward. Yeah. And so many of the bickering problems that take up so much time with politicians and business people who are older are zero are non-issues to these people coming in this idea of equal pay for women and women being equal the idea of racism these are things or taking care of the environment or all of these these are these are absolutely zero issues the day that the if it hasn't been resolved yeah, if it hasn't been resolved the day these people come into power, whatever the political system may be, the first day they're just going to change so much just because I can't believe this is still on the books. We're going to get rid of this. We're going to get rid of this. We're going to get rid of this. Day one, it's not even going to be a discussion for these people. They already get it, you know. And you see, but here's the interesting thing. We don't have to wait for them. People can already just take back their power and say, yeah, this is, that's, I don't want that in my world. I'm not willing to give my energies and my support to whatever it is that we feel doesn't honor the best of who we are. We don't even have to get into the argument and we don't have to share our opinions with anybody on social media. All we need to do is within ourselves just own, no, not that. Whatever these people are doing, whether it's, and I don't do politics. I just avoid it because my feeling is that when the consciousness is raised enough, it will be taken care of. But if there's something going on politically in whatever country, whether we're in that country or not, and we don't feel that that's part of the world we want to live in, we just negate it in our own power. No, we're not allowing that. Just that process alone 
Don't need to say anything to anybody. Just quietly within. Yeah, no. No. That will have a huge effect. That will have so much more of an effect than people begin to realize. People are so much more powerful, so much more powerful than they begin to imagine. And at this point, they should not be afraid of it, but they should own it and recognize that in this day and age, everyone on earth should be living the level of king and queen of what that would have been like a thousand years ago, because we have all of that available to us. And the only thing stopping us is us. That was beautiful. One of the, yeah, one of the interesting things is that our generation is doing all of the clearing. And when I check the clearing that the next generation has to do is breaking the habit of stupidity of people. That's it. That's all they have to break is the habit of stupidity. All the other big stuff which should be cleared by then. And all they have to do is just, no, we don't need to be stupid. That's We don't need to be Beavis and Butthead or whoever cartoon character. We don't, we just, let's not be those people. So do you, do you have so a you, clearing, you have break the habit of stupidity .com the habit of download? Is that, uh, yeah. is that an option at this moment? Uh, it's not my job. My job is to help clear all the other stuff. That's the net. I have, we have to leave them something to do, you know, they, Otherwise, they'll feel like shortchanged, you know. Um, it's the people after that that are going to have the, the cakewalk, that are going to not have to deal with the stupidity and not have to deal with the stress and not have to deal with the pollution. All of this stuff can be cleared so much faster than anybody's thinking about. And the first thing that can help people is the realization that it, it, we can do it now. Yeah. So. Yeah. But I know a lot of people but I know who a lot of people are a little older than me, like yourself, who like have had a massive had a job massive doing re job. The really heavy lifting. You know, like I came more into my awareness and my awakening later in life. You know, I kind of cruised through. You know, just, I, kinda, I don't want to say with blindfolds on, but um, not paying real attention paying to real attention. all of the energy and of the energy. people like yourself who have done like it yourself, the hard way have been clearing hard in a hard clearing. way for uh, years and years. years are you you're not tired of doing all that clearing i i how to say this um I have. I, I honestly don't know how to answer that. It's like, is your, if you're is your a, legacy already that you created this whole um, this whole infrastructure that you've built with all of these energetically encoded downloads? Is now your job now simply your just job. to expand that out to as many people as possible? Is that is that how you view this? Is that how you? Um. I, my feeling is that if I could do that, I would have done it a long time ago. My, now I'm just trying to gather the people around me who have that expertise to get it out into the world. And I'm just working with a select group of people on the Invincible Stars program, um, which is InvincibleStars.com if people want to look at it, because um, that's fun for me. And But I'm... I'm <laughs> <laughs> Some people just say I'm relentless and I just keep